All right, guys, let's talk here of money and wealth. As you're watering your seed, guys, money will come your way simply because you're able to provide a service for somebody, right? So if you serve your gift, you'll profit, right? So then the other way you become wealthy is having a rich life, a rich lifestyle. I like to say it's a chocolate cake lifestyle, right? To where you ever bought bit into some chocolate cake and it's rich in texture? Well, your lifestyle can be rich, guys. Once you're watering your seed, these things are your portion. Now, I'm not saying think about the money immediately. That's a bad idea. Don't just think about the money immediately. Think about your gift. But as you think about your gift, that money's going to hunt you down anyways, right? So you're going to have a financial strength, and you're also going to have a strength where your life is just rich, where you just you love waking up in the morning because you love the direction you're going. It's bringing you good health. That abundance is coming your way, and now you have the money. Now you have that wealth that you want. Moving on to satisfaction. There's nothing better, guys, than waking up in the morning and knowing what you're doing. That brought me so much pleasure. Now, I played soccer in Germany for 10 years. There was nothing better for me. There's, there was nothing that pleased me more personally than to wake up in the morning, go down to the hotel, have my breakfast, and I know I got training in the morning. So I was satisfied. I was satisfied because I was watering what I thought was my seed and my gift, right? So it gave me absolute pleasure doing that, guys. Once you're watering your seed, guys, it also helps you understand that the road that you're on, okay? So it helps you stay focused on that particular road that you decide to take, okay? And once you've found your road, guys, it, it, everything just feels better. It just feels right, guys. A lot of us don't even know where our road is. I know life is very distracting. Life is very confusing. But if you're running your race, you win your race because it's your name at the end of that, uh, that tape, right? So... No one else's name is at the end of that finish line but yours. So whenever you're on your road, you're running your race, you're going to be satisfied. That doesn't mean things are going to be perfect. Things are never going to be perfect, but it's such a great feeling to know that you're on the right road and not someone else's road. So moving on to helping, guys. Tyler Perry came to Dallas a few years ago and ran one of his shows. That was the first time I'd ever been to one. But one thing I noticed is upon getting to the stadium, there were people everywhere. There were people that had to um, get the parking together, right? That kind of showed you where to park. There were cops everywhere for security, of course. Um, people had to turn the lights on, right? Um, people were running the music. People were selling food. There was all kinds of things going on. And it was simply because Tyler Perry was able to water his seed, find his gift, and now he helps dozens of people. So when you're watering your seed, you have no idea who you're helping. Right? So Tyler Perry prov provided a bunch of jobs for people that he doesn't even know, simply from watering his gift. Right? So I, and I love using this example. I love, I love to use it, especially for you iPhone users out there. So let's decide, let, let, let's take it for example here, that Steve Jobs in, I don't know, 1980, uh, decides, you know what, man? This is too complicated for me. I need money. Let me just go grab a job wherever else. All right? The second Steve Jobs, Jobs makes that decision in the late 80s, if you will, your iPhone disappears. So because Steve Jobs followed his gift, and I think he was fired by Microsoft or whatever, but because he followed his gift and kept on going, he provided jobs and he provided your phone for you if you're an iPhone user. He provided a lot of different things. So when you water your gift, you don't know who you're helping, okay? Very much like the Tyler Perry example I just gave you. I came out and I couldn't, I couldn't believe how many people and how many jobs he was um, creating for people. So you never know who you're going to inspire by watering your seed, guys. All you have to do is be the best you. If you're the best you, someone's going to get inspired by that. Some people might not, but somebody will be inspired just by what you do, just by you being yourself. The only thing you have to do in life to be successful is to be the best version of yourself. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be the best version of someone else or someone else's expectations, right? That, that's irrelevant. You just have to be the best version of you. And you win the game. I mean, it's that simple. But it's so simple, it's easy not to do. It's easy to get other people to, to put their idea of what you should be on you. And now you're trying to follow some character that you're not. But if you, easily, if you just become the person who you, you know you, you, you are, and you're just doing your thing and being the best at it, you win. You win. It's just that simple. So, guys, make sure you're watering your gift because you don't know who's coming behind you, who could use your help, or who's going to get some inspiration so they can do what they need to do based upon the road you've paid for them.